OK, you're in Microsoft Excel and you want to calculate annualized return. So in my scenario, I've invested $10,000 and over five years, it gave me a rate of return of 44.73%. So this is my final value. Now to calculate the annualized return, you need to perform the following calculation. So it would be equals the final amount divided by the start amount. Then we put that in brackets. So it's calculated first. And then we raise that to the power. So that's shift and six on your keyboard. We raise that to the power of one divided by the number of years in which we've invested. So it'd be one divided by the number of years. Now, if you want to calculate the number of years between two dates, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Then we need to put all of this in brackets again, and then put minus one at the end of the formula. Now, if I press enter, you'll get your annualized return figure. Now it may appear like this initially, and all you need to do is format the cell with the percent style format. So you can do that up here and you can change the number of decimal places. So if you've got a specific start date and end date, I'll show you how to calculate the number of years between those dates. What you do is you use a function called yearfrag. So there's two arguments you'll need to use there, the start date, comma, and the end date. And then if you close the bracket and press enter, that will give you your number of years. So you will use that figure in this part of the formula. OK, that's what I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.